presented by Church Tech U. It's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, test patterns in ProPresenter 7. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I teach you all about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, why don't you join over 10,000 other people that have already subscribed to this channel, click the bell icon, etc. So this is something that ProPresenter does that maybe not a lot of people know it does. And you might not even know why you would use it, even if you did know that it did it. So let's head over to the computer and I'll tell you all about kind of why we have test patterns, where they're located, etc. So here we are in Pro 7, and if we start off by going up to View, and then go down here to Test Patterns, well, first off, that tells you where they are. Um, so that's a helpful piece of information. Now let's take a look at them, and that should help us a little bit more. So here we are in the test patterns, and we've got different test patterns here that do different things. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about that. So blend grid, if you're using edge blend in ProPresenter 7, you could put this blend grid up, and it would help you to blend between the different projectors. So that's a good little tip right there. Also, if you've got an LCD projector and it's got uh, three LCDs and each of them sends out a different color, whether you would want to realign the LCDs or not, that's up to you. I would certainly um, just keep that in mind. But having this grid, it might be able to help you realize which LCD is out of alignment with the others if you've got that sort of projector so that's another use for this one color bars you might recognize this uh, if you're a gen xer like me it used to be that you'd wake up uh, for sunday saturday morning cartoons and maybe you would see these color bars on the tv instead of the thing that you wanted to see because you'd woken up too early well so what this actually does is it allows you to change the settings on your display, whether it's a projector or an LED wall or uh, a TV or what have you, so that the colors match appropriately. So you'll notice here that we've got a really dark bar here and it goes all the way up to white. We've got these colors, etc. Well, you can use this test pattern to calibrate your display so that you get the right colors, exactly what uh, you should expect. One good way to use this is there is a blue filter that you can buy. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below to the DVD that I bought that has that filter in it and the instructions on how to calibrate using bars. But that's where you can find those in ProPresenter. Next we have focus. Notice how it's got very fine lines here. Here if we uh, go to show, you can see these very, very fine lines that are um, showing over this um, this display and then if this was instead of uh, a monitor if this was a projector you could tell just how much it needed to be um, how much it needs to be focused and maybe it doesn't. So that's another thing that that does. So we can see over here, it's showing up here on this display. And let me go ahead and click.
click the clear button here to make that go back to the way that it was. So that's how you could do it. Grayscale, again, this is kind of a bigger version of these right here. So this, again, lets you calibrate it so that you can know when you've got it sufficiently dark and sufficiently bright so that you're not blowing out the whites and you're not making your projector so dark that you can't see. Black, just black. And you can change the black level because there can be many different kinds of black and um, so there's some that are darker than others. So this is zero, absolutely black, but you could lighten it up a bit to test based on that. Same thing with white and same thing with a custom color. So if you want to put up a specific color for testing purposes, you can uh, set that up here. You have the ability to click on this button here and uh, my color picker went on one of my other monitors, but you could change the color based on either red, green, or blue here. This is 100% blue, by the way, 255. Um, or using the color picker, you could use any of the, like a web color or anything like that, where you put in the numbers specifically to get exactly a color. So you could, let's say that your church used this particular color of blue in your um, in your logo, for example, and the pastor came up and said, huh, that doesn't look right. Well, you could put it up here and you could go, well, I can tell absolutely that we're sending the right color from ProPresenter, but if it's not displaying correctly, maybe it's something that needs to be calibrated in the projector. So you can tweak things that way. So that's what these all test patterns are and what they do in ProPresenter 7. If you like this content, you'd probably like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So head on over to tdm.fyi, the number um, 7, and then the word quick tdm.fyi slash pro7quick. Sign up there and I'll make a login for you for free so that you can take my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course, which I have just re-recorded with ProPresenter 711 Beta. Uh, as of right now, when I'm recording it, it's still beta, but it could be the released version at any time. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.